Hey, welcome back to Dutch Chair Builds. Thanks for watching. Today's video is going to be about the workshop. And for those of you that watch my channel, they will notice that there is a big difference behind me. I've really done a lot of work to the shed. I uh, didn't like the layout, so this video is all about how I changed it and how it's looking now at the moment. Um, so yeah, uh, enjoy the video and I will see you at the end. As you can see, I've been working hard. I've done some painting, some white painting with the leftover paint that I had, and it came together pretty nice, but still not happy with the way the shed is working. It's a bit cramped with three bikes in there. So my thought now, after a lot of consideration, is that I'm gonna remove that cabinet. I made that myself a long time ago, I can't reach it properly, it's, I don't know, it's full of clutter. So I actually managed to empty all the drawers. Um, so I'm going to take that out, move it away. I want to get at least two of the bikes in the back. So the ones I'm not really working on are in the back and are not in the way. And the one I am working on will be in the front. What I wanted to do is and move around that big workbench because it's really heavy. I'm gonna take out one or two motorcycles, move the workbench around, and put them back in because I got to work tonight. So uh, I've only got like two hours left to do this, but well, I should get a long way and maybe uh, finish it up tomorrow. We'll see. All right, so that's been an hour and a half working here. I've got this in the corner now, cut off a side and a small piece of the back to make it fit and fits really nice actually. So I could raise that and make it like a level surface, which is cool. So I've freed up this space so I can easily park a motorcycle. I need to paint that. So I'm, I'm thinking about moving this and replacing it with those, but I'm not really sure yet. I have to find a better place for that thing. I think it's going to come over there. So the cabinet's going to go, put the shelf up here, and put the the uh, lasting cabinet over there, right above the uh, compressor. But freed up a lot of space. So let's get the bikes in. Because I 
So this is a uh, day after the previous videos and I changed my mind about the setup. The, uh, the big desk at the back, well, as you can see, I've moved it to a different place. Because it got really cramped in the back and I couldn't reach the drawers uh, again. I've moved the cabinet back, moved this one here. Uh, I've taken away uh, the additional little desk I had where the compressor was. I've taken that out and this is now just movable. I haven't got really a set place for this. But I do have like my foldable table. I made this a long time ago. I'm just going to show you. There it is. It's a foldable table. So I can flip this upwards, but it's always in front of the door. And it works really well, but uh, I want to put that work table more here at the front. So this is kind of, this is kind of in the way. So I'm going to move it, move it over there. So when I want to, I can flip it up. And if not, I can just fold it down. Thought that would be a good idea. Yeah. And also uh, I've got a third cabinet now uh, and I'm going to put it over there. And of course, I'm a centimeter short, so I have to move those two as well and fit that in. The reason for that is I left a little gap over here so I can push in like sheets of metal or sheets of uh, wood, stuff like that, like bits of stock. And uh, that's always handy, I found. So I left a little gap to do that, but that's going to cost me now dearly. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to put the cabinet here and move this table over there. And I'll go from there. So and that is the shop completed. As you can see, uh, I'll show you that in a minute, that I can fit three bikes in here easy, three motorcycles easily. The one that I'm working on is in the front. I can work around it. I can walk around it uh, and I can move it around. And the other two are more in the back um, and I don't bump into them and they're nice, safe and sound, but I can get all three motorcycles in here right now. So that's really nice. So I'm really happy with the changes I made. It was a lot of work, it took me about three days, three, four days to do it. I basically had every tool in my hand a couple of times because I changed my mind all the time. But in the end, I'm pretty happy. As you can see, I kept those cabinets uh, over there. I've got the big workbench here uh, with uh, my vise and the, uh, the drill. So that's pretty cool. And I've got those cabinets up here. I left those and that works really great. Got a lot of small stuff in there and I can grab it as I work so I don't have to walk around. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the changes I've made. I've even got this cool monitor up here so I can watch myself on YouTube, something like that. And of course, uh, yeah, the real thing is behind you right now and that is the actual table I do the work on on the bike that I'm doing right now. So I can move that around, I can walk around to it, I can walk around it and that's yeah exactly what I wanted. Also there's a lot more light in the shed because of all the white so um, hopefully the uh, the video quality will be better. Um, yeah so that is today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I will be starting again on the bikes. Um, I've got a lot of bits and bobs to do on them. So I will make a video of that soon. I'm not sure what it's gonna be, but I hope you will be back. Thank you all for subscribing. YouTube, nearly 450, I think now, subscribers. So thank you all very much for that. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram if you'd like to. Um, and yeah, that's today's video. Thanks for watching and uh, see you soon.